Hello folks and welcome back to Buy Spring. It's just gone past ten past seven in the morning in June and we've got a lot of work to do today. Potentially we've got some mowing to do. We may leave that till July so we can just have a massive cut session. I think as well that is when yes our oats are gonna be harvest race harvest so unless we harvest the oats in August perhaps if you don't have time again a lot of this depends on the weather and the weather forecast is wet July August and September so maybe pushing our luck a bit with getting a harvest done in that but yeah so we've got no money left pretty much that's because we decided to treat ourselves to a new truck and a trailer that will be used mainly for these pallets here of the greenhouses where you got our first pallet spawn of strawberries just get them spawn for a while and then we may sell them maybe not peak price perhaps but so yeah we've got the lime spreader out we've got the plow out ready we need to get the fertilizer out and first of all we need to sell some bales to get some money back so before we have a look at our brand new truck because we need money because we want to get some ducklings and some chicks in today so i know this is going to be literally at the worst price to sell silage pretty much yeah almost 459 best place is the bga and then or sell everything I may take it to sell everything because I don't think the BGA will take everything yeah I don't think it will because I think we had issues last time I'm not playing a slide about so I'm not too worried and also I'm, I'm thinking about buying some TMR on that so we've got to go right go there we go get it in gear properly there we go there's our bells there but yeah 42 bells should get a decent chunk and change from this did slightly pay off our loan it was at 270 I paid 15 grand of that off because I want to make just sort of make some repayments Goes clear as go because obviously you may have to incur interest on the loan, which would be I don't know 10 15 percent additional. So that's gonna be what 32 grand potentially as well. We've got to pay extra on top, depends on camera the actual agreement. The bank actually has been you had the agreement, we've got all the paper in the office and out of the house. So but even the ten percent interest on the loan, twenty-seven grand. Oh, oh Jack knifed. And this is the seven series, so that's what I'm thinking about as well. Getting the Deutz for nine, just so that it, it should be a new workhorse tractor. Anyways, here we are. Just got a point here. I think if you just pull in here. Did try to get it all in one go? But yes, yeah, so that is 196 grand and change we got there from silage. Which ain't actually too bad. So I think let's head back to the farm. And then we'll have a look at a brand new pickup. And there she is. Something a bit different. Something maybe not what you may expect it, but we've got the TLX 2022 track edition 
because my intention is this be used in the fields and the faster case said tracks are better, it helps with the soil compaction of well producing it in the fields. It's got a winch system and everything's got some other options as well. We do have the body version as well available potentially. But yeah, so we just gone and loaded 32 cows in here, 68 cows left in the field, so we're gonna have to make four trips in total. So I'm thinking our next set of cows we get coming in could be bulls and that, baby bull calves and that. So rather than having milking cows, we could just raise cows in the field, graze them to the point that we sell them for beef and that. So anyways, we'll get this hooked on. So that's through two cows here. And our cow pen She's got 15 cows at the moment, but it holds 500 cows. There we go, come on. It does struggle to pull a little bit. Maybe we could put a lorry in that, but... You know what, this would do for now, so... Of course, this has only been leased out, it didn't cost us a few hundred quid. Yeah, I think it was about, actually it was about a grand actually, it cost us to lease it. There we go. Next we'll just get these cows unloaded. Again, coming in from the side. Move the milk tanker a sec. There we go, got him moved over, so we'll just move him over to the husband tree. Now if you look at our animals, the heifers, obviously the cows is gonna need more food. Definitely gonna need some straw in that soon. Which if we can hold on to harvest then that'd be good. But I think we may have to buy in a few bells, potentially. So that is one lot. It was stuck on the actual shed itself as well, actually. Oh, because I don't want to wreck this, this is a rental. Yeah, because you just call up on there. On. There we go. We do, don't have the V12 engine in this, but. Come on, pull. May have to get the front loader out to budge this over. Because, yeah, I was going to rip that top bit if he ripped that. And we're going to have to pretty much pay for it because you wreck it, you buy it essentially. So there we go, we got the six series here and I'll also try try scoop this out if I can. Okay, bucket. So maybe let's go down a bit more. Something like that, get to the bottom of it. So Try just to push it rather than lifting it. No, that ain't working out well, Buck. Come on. Oh, that is rant. May have to get some tools out and partially dismantle this, even though it's so rusted out. Yeah, just fairness is this could do a bit of a refurbish at some point perhaps, but that's not a priority at the moment because again this is all self-made. Guess it by the previous owner by the looks of it, sort of tell by 
some of the zip ties and that. But yeah, so let's go and try to get this free, shall we? And there we go. So manage to it free. Done it from the wrong end first of all, we should have done it from the front end, spin it around. But now I've got to have a look and inspect this, see if there's any damage. Maybe just some scuffs and that, but no one thing to do in the future. That's the thing, we've had some problems before with things catching the traders and that. Again, some stuff we're using here. It's not designed for farming now, like for what it is now. We just have to make do with what we got at the end of the day. But yeah, so we'll get the rest of the cows in. And then we'll start looking at getting some rest of the work around here done, get some of the plan done. Because we got the meg field to do. Pretty much we got rid of all the hedges. And just look at that, that makes all the difference. That is a huge field. And it needs to be huge as well, because remember we only get about 80 to 90% of the yieldage bonus across all the fields, including the oats fields. About 80 to 100 including the oats, because the oats where it's a bit more sandy though, but it's all compensation. It's a bit better, it's sort of quality and that. But again, in day, you can't choose the soil, it's just down to lottery and mother nature at the end of the day. Yeah, let's get the rest of these cows in. There we go, let's unload that. This is a two. The XC is a two floor system. Get the rest of the cows in. And then we will do some other work. And there we go. Four last cows are ready to come in. That should perhaps help if I lower the ramp. There we go. So yeah, just four cows left. Let's go in. And there we go, that is 115 cows we've got now. Let's get that folded up. And that's the thing, this has been good to have, very helpful, but I think when we get the bulls coming in, or the, well not the bulls, the baby bulls, whatever, the Angus cows coming in, I think we'll get something else to use this and deliver it. May have to pay a small fee, but I think overall it's going to be worth it. But so, yeah, so for now, we will return this. That has been returned. And then, yep, yeah, just get ducklings in and all that and chicks. Get some balls coming in and then. Once I get here, it should be here within the next hour or two. Then we'll start some farming. And there we go. So, we just had the animal slivers, and I've been to the shop. I picked up some TMR. I thought, treat our cows a little bit. The ones that's just grown up with some delicious food. So, I let this car that's behind us pass. I think it's just a one by the looks of it and we also got 16 bells so that is 144,000 years Ooh. work one yeah uh, once again I think you know what maybe it's time to do sort of a bit of readjustment here so Down. I 
I think it's more the post than anything else is actually here than I think if you have not enough birth and that enough width then easily get in. There we go. Almost. But yeah, we're gonna have to look at, look into that. I should have sworn. Didn't see anything there. I was thinking if it went wide and come in then yeah, it's fine. But it's just these here. Can we remove these? Yep, got rid of that, so Oh, got sixteen grand for those, so I'm guessing someone will those. <laughs> Actually what? I'm not going to complain about that. So we've got some straw, got some TMR. I'm not sure if the straw's going to go in straight away. Definitely don't have the height. So we need to once again get a straw blower, and that's something we would need to buy. We could rent one, of course, but that's an essential part for our cows. So I think for now we'll just pop it over here. Unless we have like a bell shredder or a silo shed that takes in the bell, shreds them, then yeah, perhaps, but. How much is it going to be for a bell shredder? So, unless we used a forge wagon, like one of these wagons here, even something like this, like a small one, that would just take the bells. But again, they're 45 grand. How much are these ones? But yeah, that's the one we've used before. Actually, even something like that. I think you know what? Thirty-seven and a half grand. But do we want a dedicated straw blower whilst we can just use that? And then we can put straw into our storage area. So perhaps we do that instead. So let me get all of that sorted a sec. Actually, where is it? Yeah. No, okay, we we'll used. Uh, the big ones right behind it. <laughs> also, I say, where's our two six series? But yeah, so we'll go and grab them all. Get the GCB over here ready. Empty what's ever in the force mixer. And then we'll go from there. So, right, there we go. That's 15,000 litres of side shops left in here, so. You take all of this, please. I hope you do. But yeah, see, so we've got 151 cows in here. We've got 75 of these little ones here, these little female Anguses. And we do have the male Angus as well. Also, we did pay a bit of an expense of getting an actual bull in. That would help protect are heard in that. That's something we should have done before and that, but we risked it. Because you know with the local wildlife around here. Even though wolves and that are one of things well thanks to us. It's not really a big problem nowadays. Alright, so that's what we want. But yes, yeah, so we want to just protect our cattle, especially our initially newborn calves that we just got in. So they'll, they'll take a year to grow, and our main purpose is just get them as fat as possible. So yeah, the slides will work in that, of course, but I think if you actually give them TMR and that, that'd be a better solution. So, 
Okay, JCB is over there. Still got it set to tip side, well, empty on the left side, so. Yeah, okay, we'll play the space here. There we go. Must be in fact hating out. We can make a bunch of TMR right now. Got a few bells and that, and size just. And the, the straw is just to pad it out, you know. But anywho, go over and grab these. So, Let's unstrap these two here. Go. Get him strapped on. Ooh, a bit tipsy topsy. There we go. There's going to get consumed up. Turn on the mixer and that, shred these up. I will wait for it to fit up first of all. There we go, that is full. Now we just blow straw in. And yeah, we're going to have lots of straws in that, anyways, from the harvest out. Just checking that's all good. So, food, that's right at the moment. Man, that's all the straw there anymore. So, we're going to need another. Crikey. Good thing we bought two sacks of eight. And we're all quite cheap now, only a couple of grand now, because again, straws are really if I was just bedding or as a padding for food and that, so. Let's get the force closer a bit. There we go. Let's sort of mind everything. in there. They're strapped in. We want to unstrap those. Oh, no, not on, not on the roof. Oh, no, what? Just empty that in. I'll get empty as it goes along. Yeah, 9,000 year bells here, so these are like big square ones. Okay, that's been consumed. So they are full of straw? No, not quite. So yeah, I'm going to get the rest of this done now. I may put the rest in storage. I uh, well, don't give them TMR. Well, no, they've got a bit of TMR now already, so... You know what, heck it, I'll give them a bit of TMR. Yeah, heck it. We'll get some milk transferred over to the calves and that. Because really, I wouldn't get rid of that hay. There's 24,000 litres of hay. So yep, I'll go finish all this off. This trailer should be quite empty afterwards. And then we'll go from there. So 
So there we go, that is the animals attended to. So they've got all their food in that. And we did create some extra TMR. With the help of some of those straw bells, we got those and padded it out. We did have to buy two hay bales because we actually went over their percentages. Because if you have a look here, so mineral feed is zero to I think it's about five or six percent. Hay is up to thirty-six percent. Yeah, straw's up to 36%, and minimum, I think it's about 10%. For hay, it's minimum of, I'll say, 25 to 50%, and silage is 25 to 75%. So, ideally, you want to have the least amount of silage, the most amount of straw and hay, respectively. Just, just simply because of the fact that. Yeah, it'd be a bit of a poor quality TMR because it's more of a straw base rather than a silage based. But yeah, mineral feed just has the additional nutrients. If we could get some mineral feed, then yes, but they are quite expensive. I think it's under big bags they are. You know, we could get mineral feed, we could get a thousand litres for two grand. But ain't there some other ones about? <coughs> uh, nope, not theirs, under paddits. Yep, so that's a thousand for a thousand years. So yeah, it's quite expensive, <coughs> even regardless, so... Unless we have a way to get some cheap mineral feed being produced. Again, that could be something we look into on the, around the farm. Get a production going, or one of the locals get a production going so that we have that, but until that time comes, we won't really worry about it. So now, on to some actual farm. So, don't need to plow everything. Like here, the grass is here, is ready to mow. But we need to do some big passes now because we have a look on the me map so if it goes to where it says needs plowing I can see there's big sections of where plowing is required for example here this used to be where the gateway used to be like the trees come into the field headlands and that going all the way around here needs tend to and even reality is, after the harvest, we can do it, just go around the plough on the edges of some of our fields. Same with the grass fields, once they're done, do some perimeter work. Doesn't make a difference. On those fields, perhaps not too much, but on this, it probably does. Just simple because of... So we need to enable create a field, there we go. So if we go down here a little bit, again this is going to be a bigger than it needs to be, but I'll rather go over a bit. Yeah, you know, use some grass and that. So if we have a look, I think it didn't go too far over. Yeah, so it'll go even further over, so... Going to be going to that map a lot, the little PDA system, just to ensure that we can get everything we need done. So again, is that enough? If I is, then we know where to base ourselves when we go back down here. Yep, that is perfect. So let's go around a bit, and that does suck, and that. That's one of the jobs that it needs to do at the end of the day. It's part of the process of creating the mega field, so... Again, go over here, reverse up, just be careful. 
There we go. Just get rid of that plowing state. It will accord to farm sim requires. So how's that looking? Good now? Yeah, there we go. That's what we need to do. Apparently there's still some weeds left in the field. May try to do a quick bit of spot spraying if it lets us, but... But yeah, so that's all the work we've got to do. It's going to take some time, so... In reality, the best way to do it is just a little short time lapse. Sorry, car. Okay, there you go, sir. Bit of a wood sump. A chunk of a wood sump there. Interfering. But yeah, going up here does have to be that big. No, actually. Well, I was going obviously around again, but. Obviously, this is going to affect how much we get in that from the grass now. But one of the things, it needs to be done, so. Anyways. Dang, you're going to need to. Get a stump grinder, get rid of that. You know what? That would do. Let's just cease it. There we go. We'll get that removed. So, yeah, I will continue on with this. Get us all done. First, we need to do this, and then the line and fertilizing the fields as well needs to be done. Just to ensure maximum crop yieldage and that. So, yeah, get us done. I'll see you folks in a few moments. With all that done, we now want to start doing some of the mowing here. Possibly, or at least just get it prepped ready for tomorrow. So let's just go and raise this up a sec. 
my show so I can clip. Hopefully that doesn't hit the roof, does it? No, fair enough. So yeah, all Z needs a bit of a clean underneath, but can't see no oil, no nothing, but generally a little bit of maintenance here and there. A few hundred quid in parts. I will just give us a good old, good old clean, good old prep. Just make sure this is suitable for tomorrow. But this has a bit of a work ahead of itself. There we go, look at that. Almost a like brand new underneath there. I see no chipping on the paint or anything like that. Uh, so as long as we keep our equipment retained and cleaned, pop that back down. There we go. So that's our last ready. And yeah, I think let's have a look at the grass situation here a sec. So we go and have a look. that grass. So yeah, 67 is ready and so are all the other fields, but I think if we leave that, they'll grow a little bit more, get a bit more yieldage out of them. And again, I think, yeah, if we do all that as hay, that'd be a good thing. So yeah, we've got bits over there, our oats, they're going to be ready to harvest soon. Our soybeans, they're going to be ready to harvest until at least the full one at September and October. And again, that's quite weather dependent. We did plant them early in April. But again, if it's raining, then we can't harvest. Simple as that. That's been 130 grand. Do we buy another plot of land. So again, tempted by this, but it's all sandy loam. Or loamy sand, but we want the loamy sand. On the sa sandy loam we want, not the loamy sand. But they're just so damn expensive. Buy the plot here. But I'm thinking, if we save up, Potentially something like that, but then get us in almost the entirety of our loan. I think if we pay some bit off now, I think if we say there we go, that's seventy grand paid off off the loan now, and then we can easily earn money through contract work and all that other stuff. But is there anything really popping up that's high money? Not really. Some size bells, 122. Okay, that's just over there. Bottom right almost. I think let's do some hay contracts. That's size bells. Four grand, four and a half, four eight. Silage three seven, four eight silage. So you're gonna make tons of money from this. Oh, fills by five. Also next to twenty eight on to our left. So we say, yep, we'll do that contract. Don't need to borrow any equipment in that. I'm finding some of the other four and a half grand ones. Four eight, so eighty four and eighty five. Could do those contracts in one go. Yeah, if we get a grass dryer in or. 
then we can just cut the grass and collect it. That's an option for us, so. But again, a lot of that is just requires money and that. So 84 and 85 are those two fields there on our left. Just ahead of 83 that we're going straight past. So yeah, it's this field here and next one do you have access? I think it's a decent sized field now. Okay, no access to 85 via here. Looks like we need to go to 92, get drone out. So that's 85, access through there, 86. Oh no, we can access it, access it from here. So a contract on 86? No, there's 87, but it's sidage. So you know what, I think I'm going to spend some time, do a couple of these contracts. Let's get some hay in, and then we'll come back afterwards and see what the damage is in terms of how much bells we've got for ourselves. some time has passed we have been busy so as you may have just seen or may have included it here that we have done so far a total of nine hay contracts that has nested us of what we've got in storage 40 bells there were two size bells because for some reason I was getting sided when picking up some grass that wasn't being or that was missed being tedded but even the majority of the fields were tedded, that last fraction of percentage was grass and convert like three, no, two or three grass bells into, well, well hay bells was meant to be, into silage bells, so that's that. And also we actually sold maybe like six, eight or ten hay bells. Anyways, we've done the last three contracts here, and these are for selling. I thought, going to agree with things, you know, just doing contracts and that. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. Oh, I really hate this sometimes. Oh, damn car. As I was saying, so we've got 42 slice bells. We've already put seven slice bells in, and that is the last three contracts here almost done. And oh, this is new. If this issue just popped up, so we've got 86. Where is that to? Oh, just north of the shop. 83. That's for hay. 81, where is that to? 81, 78. Ah, 81, by 82, and one through around that bend there on the bottom left. So, yeah, we can do those. Size contract. And 114, that's next to 108, our soybean field there. So, some more contracts for us to do. But anywho, let's get the rest of this contract completed. There we go. And he should sell. Well, in theory, he should. Come on. <clears throat> they was doing it fine just now, so why ain't that working now? Come on. Uh, dropping bells everywhere. Get it all recorrected. So yeah, like, there's just nothing's going in. I'm 
normally sat. There we go. And that's what it is, so there we go. So that is 24 grand there. Guess we have to put these in here, so bear with me a sec whilst I get these sold. Because it worked off camera and now it's not working. Well, anywho. Put well, the rest of the bells back on here. There's about three or four bells in the BGA being sold. BGA's full. As stands of the BGA, it just doesn't process the amount of slides we produce fast enough. Even just from a handful of contracts, so. Anyways, we'll get 27 grand almost from that. And we'll accept 81. 83 and 114 for the heck of it, why not? 101, where's that? Two, 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 two. Ah, bottom right off that center field section area there. Maybe a better option, but still. So, next best place to sell these is to buy Spring Marts. That's if we do sell, do we keep them? So, you know what? We'll sell it. Because then um, we can just use that to pay off the rest of the loan. So, or, or, buy yourself a new tractor. But do we need a tractor? We need land, board, and equipment in that really at the moment, so. Don't get me wrong, it'd be good to have the 9 Series in. Yeah, that older 6 Series is okay, but. When it comes to pulling stuff, it does bog down a bit, it's just the gear shift, all these not sequential, like your modern tractors and that. But, yeah, because we're going to get about 25 or whatever grand from it. That's a good tractor to have around, to tow around small pieces of equipment. Things like the wind rover and the tether and that, towing that around with it. That's definitely saved us a lot of time because I do all these contracts. The tedding alone, that has took a lot more longer than I thought. Also, I forgot to mention, we did or well, have leased one piece of equipment. It's a very expensive piece of equipment, but it's going to be worth it for us. But let's get this back in first of all. No, it's going all skew with you already. That's basically the Crone Big M450. We've decided to lease that. That is a very expensive piece of equipment to lease out. And we were at 0.4 hours ready when we did these three size contracts here, so... Because how much is... Because, yeah, see got at least... Also, we've got to return that, but we do have one more stump we need to clear out. But, yeah, the Crone... So that costs us how much? 19 grand initially. It's going to cost us 8 grand per hour of work time and 4 grand per work day. And I think it's going to be worth it. I definitely do. But it's just not going to be easy, so come on. You know what? Okay, just sell what we can now. Stop glitching. Uh, well, I knew what. There we go. That's the downside of this trailer, it's just. And there we go, that's better, that's freed it now. One, two, three, four, five, six. At 302 grand. Actually, Ferris could buy the new fuel we wanted. But, 
what crops do we do? Because the only things we could do now is pretty much wheat, barley, canoe, and oats. So, do you have a quite a big window for next year? Because things like next year, what I want to do is some different crops and that. Things like potatoes. Come on, we're in Ireland. We've got to do potatoes. We do sorghum that potentially. So I wouldn't, ideally, if we had time, we would have done it with the mega fields in that. But it's just what it is in that. We've missed the window. But hopefully, grass. No, no. Obviously, rice poplars. Do those potentially? All the things we can't do on this map is grapes, olives, sugarcane, and cotton. Unless we do, yeah, because we're literally at the wrong time now to start putting new crops in, or the different crop types that should be all done in spring. That's why things like sorghum that I want in, or even things like corn. Get corn that in. Do a massive size batch now. But also we need to start diversify how much money we're getting from our products. Things like, we want to see how much size we get from this. How much size the cows are using now. Because we may need to acquire more grassland to keep up the cows. So ideally at some point I want to have 250 adult cows and just the rest growing, but anyways we'll head back to the farm, do one final clean up today, and you know what, I think that's where we're cool today, I think we've done a hard day's work in that. I mean literally, start from the morning and that, and tomorrow's going to be a hectic day of that off grass being done, got the harvest as well to do. All sorts of stuff to do in that, and you know what? Have it early evening. Heck, it may even take our truck out now to enjoy the scenery, but yeah, we'll get us all washed up and put away for the day. And there we go, just spent some money servicing the equipment, getting the oils changed and that, booking servicing at the garage and that, but. Yeah, I think just once more, hose he's down. Like these mowers may not even use them tomorrow because we've got the chrome big M450 on these. Was it worth it for the contract work? Technically, yes. It proved its value. It's just something, it's something different. It's a bit of a bigger mower, easier movability, and also it's got the benefit of it does wind rows. So. Obviously we still need to win rower here at the farm to do the ten and that. I think rather than go for first of all we'll look at the land situation, how much food they're consuming in that. The cows and I mean. Cause, ah dang it, that's what I forgot. The chicks need feed. I guarantee I haven't fed them yet. Oh, poor little things are absolutely starving. You know what? Let's finish this off and then I'll sort it out in a sec. And there we go. Thankfully, a local farmer was able to help us out with some cheap feed source. So, a little bit of feed that would do enough for now. And obviously, when I went to Aquarius, I forgot we did have some in the green silo, so... But anywho, some cheap, low quality grain that's all been packed up. Apparently it was at use, but it was kept in storage for... I'm actually not sure why it was kept in storage, like, especially backed up in that. But anywho, I'm not complaining. Maybe an accidental mispurchase in that. Oh, oh there we go. Back down we go. Why are you doing that on me now? Come on. Let's 
doors open, lock those, no, open. There we go. No, oh, we'll make it do that. That's downside of this GCB, uh, it just does not have a bloody goddamn weight on it. I think we can use this with a wheel loader and that. Uh, again, that's getting me thinking of possible selections. Because we don't really need anything with like high reach now, not really. Uh. Come on. I'm attempt to just sell this. Because the fact that it doesn't have weight. Come on. Wheel loaders. Ooh. That's nice. A Libra 622 Lantronic. That's a track, so it's good for soil compaction. Got a forestry option. And uh, it does come with a weight. Ooh, a three ton weight, so... Get that. I, I don't want something like that with like, the swivel front axle. Actually, no, 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 that's... No, that's um, these ones I hate. They're a nightmare. These, these ones are right to work with in that. So again, we got three hundred grand. We even buy a Volvo for freak's sake, but I think that's a bit overkill for us. So you know what? I'm gonna trade this in. Hopefully this works first of all. So let's try that and see. Let's go and speak to Dieter and have a little chat and see what we can figure out here. Well, I wasn't expecting that, so... Look what we've got. So we've got the Libra, 62, but we've got it in orange. Also got the weight, three ton weight at the back, and obviously we respray res these forks. Quick do some paint and that, seems to do the job. Not perfect, I know, but who? Like for a grand back as well for the GCB. Obviously, having a proper tank handler with a weight on the back is helpful. Obviously, is that even like that GCB? Whoa, what's going on here? Ah, I think we know what's going on here. There we go, so... Yeah, the issue of that was something I noticed oh, while I was watching Mississippi's, Mississippi's um, Frontier series a few episodes ago, where he mentioned his own issues. So I think he's using this very same tray on that series as well, or did use it. And was having issues all of it. One thing we will do is just make sure it's on the tracks, watch it on the trailer and that a bit better. As well, I don't want to wreck this. There we go, that's better. But yeah, the issue, watch it, not quite. There we go, that's better. But yeah, the issue, apparently, was out of uh, it was with something it tip, the trailer was tipping when strapping down. And that was the same with this. It happened initially just before I press record it, it happened. And done it again, so really just gotta make sure we just don't tip it. But anyway, it's so all to get to the farm. I, I doubt we'll have to transport this much. I'm just trying to think, um, yeah, not really. But yeah, like, around this farm as well, once we, get, once we get everything done, once we get everything in the ground harvested and all that, things like that, get that patched up. Thankfully we can get away with it, like, the tires on the trailer, they're not too big in that, so... Should be able to get away with it. Uh, anywho, back at the farm after a bit of a 
unintentional diversion. There we go, get the lever started up. And all we have to do is unload these, so... One pallet for the ducklings and one pallet for, for the chickens. Get unstrapped. There we go. Get some straps on. Nope. Now. There we go. So now it is taking care of these chickens. What? Chicklings? Oh, ducklings and chickens. Ugh, I try to put all, all of it in one go. But. So, first pallet. As the GCB without any weights. Yep, it can be lifted. One pallet fine, but with two it was struggling. Even with one it was semi struggling. But anywho, have a look here. Oh, they're gonna need a lot more food. Crike. That's why we're doing the oops. It's to feed them because. That is not even close. I'm just hoping these little son of the guns aren't too hungry at the moment. Even though I've been working all day, we've gotten early on about 10 of them o'clock, so that's 8 hours that you've had no food. Yeesh. No one tell Peter this. I'm not doing them on my case. There you go, little birdies. Oh, little chickens. Hello. And hop over here. Oh, look at our little ducklings. Sweet. But yeah, anyway, so that's that. We do have some more, I think, in storage. Only 11,000 a year, so pretty much the same what we've got at the moment. Ugh. Crikey. Ugh. I'm just really hoping they're not hungry. But, anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today. So, next time we've got harvesting to do, mowing to do, making sure we don't starve our animals again. But, yeah, so, bit of an interesting episode. Got a few things done. Bit interesting, but, anyways. That's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for just do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.